Well, I'm glad I, well, I'm glad I got that done. It's uh, Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. Just finished up an 80 minute jug because the weasel slept in. I was reading an article the other day in Outside Magazine about some new science that runners can use to take heart, uh, help their running and stuff. And one was trying to measure um, what your training week's like walking past the little car there. And, you know, typically they do it by miles. And I think a much better one is minutes because in Bakersfield, the summer mile and a winter mile are two totally different things. It'll be 105 out versus 41 right now. So it's obviously you need to take into account your effort, not just your miles or minutes and perceived rate of perceived effort and so it's been the big talk in a lot of uh, articles I've been reading recently. And you really should take into account that Training Peaks app does kind of measure that with some of your biometrics and so does Strava. But you also can just kind of write down notes. That's kind of what this vlogs for me. I can look back. So like today I did five minute walk, five minute run for 80 minutes and it was an effort. You know, the pace was decent but I was definitely kind of fatigued. Not really sure why, but it just was a hard effort. Would have been much better off if I got to do the first 40 minute walk with Lanka and got a good warm up. So walking back through my neighborhood, finishing up, part of that article was kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. It also talked about weight training, cross training for runners. And until you get to a certain amount of actual miles on your feet, you really don't need to worry about cross training so many people i say you know once you get about 10 hours of running or walking a week then you can consider adding to your training and they were talking about how training weights work cross training doesn't really improve your vo2 max because basically your vo2 max is what you're born with and then you but the nice thing is the reason i'm going to be get home and do my kettlebell actually today is uh CrossFit workout on this wood generator I use. And the reason I do that is it doesn't improve my VO2 max, but improves my form. And, uh, you know, the improved form is going to help with your running economy and in terms of making you go faster, a little bit more flexibility, a little bit better muscular all around fitness. So you can add that. And the last part of the article, this is a hodgepodge article, talked about shoes. And it basically said what shoe companies never want to hear, that uh, shoes help, they don't hurt. And you pretty much, if you're training properly, listening to your body, get away with wearing pretty much anything and everything. And that's often the case. You see, you know, people back in the day training and running in like the glorified bowling shoes or loafers. And, you know, cost, you know, third world countries, people, begin their career barefoot or running in not adequate footwear, supposedly. So it's basically saying, yeah, shoes are okay, but you know, proper technique, proper conditioning goes a lot longer. So good to know that, you know, it's down to the basics. So today, you know, next week, I have a virtual Bakersfield Marathon, in fact, we're on Beach Street, my house, and mile 10 of the Bakersfield Marathon runs right past my house, which is always kind of fun to see my neighbors and run through the streets of Bakersfield. But this year, because of COVID, it's virtual. You can do the whole thing at once. You can break it up, or you can do what I'm doing, one mile every hour for 26. It is the version they had. Of course, California has a curfew now, a COVID curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So I think I will do my outdoor miles here on Beach Street, go up a half mile, turn around, and I will be doing the other miles on my treadmill. Good thing I have a treadmill, or I wouldn't really be able to do this challenge, because I'd probably get arrested for being out here past curfew. Uh, of course, as Corolla and uh, Mark Garrigo said, I could always identify as being homeless, and then they would leave me alone. So as always, stay healthy. Be boring, not epic.